Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get a smoky eye that doesn't leave you looking like a raccoon or like you have a black eye. I know that when I do my smoky eyes, I tend to take it to the extreme. I like it smoked out to my brows. I like the lower lash line smoked down to my cheeks. I know it's really extreme and I know a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing that. So I'm going to show you some techniques that you can use in order to recreate a look but make it more suitable for how you want to wear it. So the general rule I want you guys to take away from this video though is that whenever you do a smoky eye, it doesn't necessarily have to be black. And I say this because a lot of the times when I'm doing someone's makeup and they request a smoky eye, the first thing they say is that I don't want it to be black. And I think there's this general assumption out there that a smoky eye has to be black and really dark when really a smoky eye is the technique of making the shadow go from really dark to really light and diffuse nicely into the rest of the skin. So a smoky eye can be black, purple, green, blue, pink, whatever you want it to be. As long as it diffuses nicely into your skin, you're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into this demo. If you guys are interested, keep on watching. All right, so I already have the foundation that I have on my skin, on my lids, just to even them out. And the main base I'm gonna be using is a cream eyeshadow or a coal eyeliner, coal eyeliner pencil that isn't black. So I'm gonna be using a chocolatey brown pencil. This is Scandal Eyes from Remmel in the shade Bootleg Brown. So I'm gonna apply this really close to the lash line and then blend it up. So just a tiny bit like that, you don't need a lot, and then we're gonna smudge it out. I'm using a Morphe M333 brush. Before I go in with any eyeshadow, I'm gonna be setting the brow bone down to the crease with a translucent powder or a foundation powder. I like using this versus an eyeshadow because it is a skin tone and I find that it ends up looking a lot more natural that way. And I'm gonna be using a Sigma P88 brush to do that. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette for this demonstration. So the first color I'm gonna be using is Milk Chocolate as a transition shade. And I'm gonna keep this shadow really tight in the crease. I'm not gonna smoke it out too far. And then I'm gonna be using a Semi Sweet as my lid color. I'm gonna pack it on with a Zoeva 234 brush. And now I'm gonna be blending this out with a tapered brush. Again, I don't wanna use a large fluffy brush to make sure I don't go overboard. Using a tapered brush is gonna keep it to the general area that the eyeshadow's already at. So I'm gonna be using a Zoeva 228 brush. And I'm just going to basically blend the lid color and the crease color together. I'm not really blending outside of that. So when you're done, it should look like this. Now we're gonna tackle the lower lash line. Rather than smoke it out with a ton of eyeshadow like you guys know I love doing, we're gonna keep it pretty tight to the lower lashes. I'm gonna be using that same cream shadow stick, but rather than apply it directly from the pencil to the lower lashes, I'm gonna use a small smudge brush. I'm using the Sigma E21 brush, and I'm gonna pick it up on the brush directly and then apply it to the lower lashes. So that way we don't go too crazy with the lower lash line right off the bat. Take off any excess on the back of your hand and then apply it really close to the lash line. And then I'm gonna smudge it out with that larger smudge brush, the Morphe M33, to soften it out. And here you have your smoky eye. Now for the waterline, definitely feel free to leave the lower waterline with nothing on it if you feel like eyeliner makes your eyes look small or really closes them up. But always 
tight line. And tight lining is when you add eyeliner to the upper waterline and really push it up against the lashes. It just makes your lashes look so much fuller and it really completes a smoky eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and tight line with my Tartiste eyeliner from Tarte. Now just add some mascara and you're done. And here you have your soft and subtle smoky eye. That wraps up this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up and subscribe so I see you in the next one. Bye guys.